Alrighty, I am standing over a really nice specimen of uh, a particular section of the Amanita genus uh, called Lepidella. Uh, this is super duper common and these mushrooms when they, um, you know, their caps open, they get really, really large. Uh, there are numerous species in section Lepidella. I don't know them, uh, but I definitely know how to identify uh, them to that section. Uh, there are some of them that are really uh, foul and pungent. I guess supposedly some of them are edible. I uh, don't eat them. I'm not big on Amanitas because, uh, you know, there's a lot of other mushrooms that I like that feel re less risky. Uh, but anyway, this one actually, I can smell it right now. It's got a very, very strong chlorine smell, uh, which is super common with uh, the Lepidellas. So let's look at the features. Uh, first thing you will notice is it's got uh, sort of a, uh, you know, um, a warty surface, and those warts come off really easily. They are, um, you know, attached to the cap, but uh, it's oftentimes very thick, almost makes the uh, mushroom look hairy. Uh, in addition, you have um, a ring on the stem, uh, so there is a, uh, you know, pretty significant, uh, you know, partial veil, which is basically a layer of tissue that protects the baby mushroom. You can see it right here. So this is the remnant that turns into a pretty significant stem. Um, the thing that makes Lepidellas, besides this like warty cap and sometimes they're very uh, chlorine disgusting smell, is uh, the base of the stem. So Amanita mushrooms in general uh, have uh, what's called a universal veil. So it's a protective layer of tissue that um, you know protects the baby mushroom as it comes up. In the case of uh, the Lepidellas, the, you just basically have this big clump uh, or big bulbous uh, base. And so a lot of other Amanitas, it's more like a cup or a sack. In this case, it's just a big old, uh, you know, kind of um, uh, ping pong ball sized bit of uh, flesh. But again, a lot of them smell very strongly of chlorine. If uh, you have an enemy that you really want to take it out on, I suggest stashing this in a hot car that is owned by them overnight. I have done this and uh, the following morning, uh, my car smelled very much like a pool with tons of pee in it and it was really difficult to air out. So um, besides that, you know, Lepidellas are just interesting because they're so big. Uh, you know, I, I, this one is not fully opened yet, but uh, some of them can get to be the size of a dinner plate. Anyway, uh, section Lepidella in the uh, Amanita genus. You'll see them everywhere.